Hello there, welcome to Snipper Pro Tips. Uh, I've received a few personal messages now regarding the screw shot. Uh, I did this clip quite some time ago now with the screw shot. And what I'm going to try and do now is show you a different method. Because all players are different. Uh, some will pick it straight away, others will take some time, and, and, and so on. Uh, don't ever let a coach at all tell you that you don't understand. It's the job of the coach to put this into practice and try and help you to play this shot. Please, whatever coaching you're sort of looking at, whether it's on YouTube or wherever, don't let the coach tell you that you don't understand and that you're not getting it. Because quite simply, it's the coach's job to get his point across to you so that you can do it. So don't accept being talked to like that. It's disrespectful to you as a player uh, and it's also a little bit arrogant on a coach's part to tell you that you don't actually understand. So, if it is the first clip I've put on, uh, it hasn't worked for you, then hopefully this new uh, screw shot uh, clip that I'm going to put on will help you just to sort out uh, the screw shot and try and improve it and put it into your game. But whatever you do, don't let anybody tell you that you don't understand it. It's not your job to understand it as such, that's why you're asking for the advice uh, and if the advice is like that I, I would find that personally very disrespectful to you as a player now what I've got here actually uh, you've probably seen now I've just zoomed in I've got a ball here with a spot on it I get the camera just right zoom out just a touch there so you can just about see that spot on the white now before any of you sort of uh, start messaging it's a pool white and it's small it isn't it's actually a snooker white and here's a snooker white that's uh, on this table at present and I think you can see there they're both the same size uh, the only thing is it's just slightly uh, darker because what they were going to do uh, in the tournaments on the television they were going to use one of these whites with the spots on similar to pool so that the the viewers at home could actually see what spin was being put on the white uh, it didn't take off and we still play with a plain cue ball now the good thing about this spotted white is that I can actually put the spot which is here in the position where to screw the cue ball now what I'm going to say to you is is obviously you probably won't have one of these spotted cue balls but what you may have in the club where you play is a pool table now if you've got a pool table obviously you've got spots and stripes uh, if it is your pool table has spots and stripes just pinch one of the spot balls if you can uh, I don't mean that literally I mean just take it off the table and take it to the table where you're playing and place the spot right there if it is now you haven't got a spotted uh, a pool table with spots and stripes what you can actually do is take your normal cue ball which is there and look for a mark that's on the cue ball it's, at most clubs there's bound to be a short mark on the cue ball somewhere and put it in this spot right here so now what you've got is something actually to focus on and what we're going to do is something that you don't normally do in snooker which is look at the white ball obviously on the final shot what you're actually looking at is the object ball but in this case, because it is you're struggling with the screw shot, just while we're learning the screw shot now to make it work, because some of you now aren't hitting the correct spot, and this is why you're not screwing the cue ball. Uh, and, and this is either because of uh, lifting the head on the shot, dropping the elbow at the back, and you're not hitting the white in the correct place. And this is more often than not why you're not screwing the cue ball. Uh, it's nothing to do normally with the cloth. If it's a little bit heavy, it will still screw back. Uh, and normally it's you're just not hitting the cue ball in the right spot so what we're going to do now is say that this spot here luckily I've got a, a spotted ball you've put a short mark on the white ball now your setup is completely normal how it normally is how you normally have it don't put your hand any closer don't pull the hand any further away so now as we line up to this now you can see there now or you should be able to just see on the camera my tip now hitting that cue ball now before any of you say I'm, I'm hitting across it no I'm not I've just got this off straight so I can actually get the camera in so you can see and you see there now I'm hitting the spot now what I want you to try and do 
is instead of potting the red, don't worry about potting the red, that's not the important thing we're looking for. What we're looking for is the screw shot. So all I want you to try and do to see if it works for you, this particular way of screwing the ball, is just look at this spot. So you can take five, have five goes at it. Don't worry about potting the red. That's not the object. The object is to screw it flat. And all you've got to do now is focus on that spot. And then once you've done it, take the cue back, pull it back, and it through the spot. And you probably knew by that I've missed the red, but I have actually screwed the white back. So once you've done that, take it back again. And what you can also do, the spot where you've hit, you can have a look and see if you've actually hit the spot. So now we take it back again. Again, to make sure you're in the right spot, which is a little bit lower. And you can see it there again, and then do exactly the same again. So again, you're only focusing on the spot there. So as you get used to seeing where your tip is hitting on that cue ball. And then once you've sort of mastered this, then you can go back to what you were doing before. So obviously now the last thing you look at is the object ball. You pull the cue back nice and slowly, then accelerate through the ball. Start off nice and slow to start with, and then gradually build up the power. Now if it is this actually works for you, that's great. Remember it's always down to the coach. If it is you don't quite uh, get the first time or you don't fully understand what he's saying the first time, ask for a different way of doing it. Most coaches, if they're any good, will have two or three different ways to actually teach somebody how to do, the set, how to do one thing. Uh, and this is the difference between good coaches and poor coaches. A good coach will always have two or three different ways of explaining things so that you fully understand what's going on. So just to show you again now, we've got this spot at the bottom. And the only thing I'm focusing on now at this point is this spot. And what I'll do is I'll put some fuel off. That's another important part of the screw shot. Chalk up after every shot. So here we go again. Only focusing on the spot. And a nice shot through. See that the screw back. And if we can just make that out on camera, I'm not sure whether you can or whether you can't. Hopefully it'll focus. No, nope, can't get it in. But there is a chalk mark absolutely slap bang in the middle of that spot. And that basically is to try and help you uh, understand uh, the screw shot, uh, a different way of doing it. So if you can, remember, try and get a chalk mark that's there and just focus on that spot and just practice hitting through that spot, only looking at the spot. And then once you've mastered it and you, and you do feel as the cue ball now is starting to work in the way you think it should, then forget about the mark and then just focus on potting the ball that's in front of you and see if that works any differently. And that's a different way of learning how to play the screw shot. But please, if you're watching any clips out there and somebody tells you that you yourself don't understand it, I find that a little bit disrespectful uh, and you shouldn't have to put up with it because after all, you're asking for help so you shouldn't be being told that it's your fault because you don't understand. It's been Snicker Pro Tips. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them. If it is you need any advice in any way, uh, please get in touch. Uh, if you have any match situations, again, please get in touch. Feel free. Uh, it's been Snicker Pro Tips. Thank you.